First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, The Lord will not allow you to be tested beyond your strength. Can you just say to your neighbor please? First Corinthians Corinthian. chapter, chapter 10 verse 13 says, Your God is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. He will not allow you. He will not allow you to be tested. To be tested beyond your strength. Beyond your strength. And when you go through the test, and when you go through the test, He will not only give you the power. He will not only give you the power to handle the situation. To handle the situation. But He will also. But He will also open the door for you. Open the door for you and bring you out of it. And bring you out of it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ni Devudu, ni Sakti ki minchi, ni ne shodimpa padaniyad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Yelija, as he crossed the mountain, as he reached, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Lord anointed him and sent him to anoint kings and prophets. You will be having lot of problems when you remain faithful with God. God will see your faithfulness and He will anoint you to anoint the prophets. Prophets will be born from you. Kings will be born from you. Your children will become kings. Your daughters will become queens. God's presence will accompany them. With your faith, God will bless your children and children's children. The same God who led Abraham. The same God who led Abraham in the mountain. The same God who led Moses on the mountain. The same God who led Elijah on the mountain. He is the same God for you. He is with you. And He will never leave you nor forsake you. Worship Him. Thank Him. Can you call upon Him, talk to Him in silence for a minute? Like Abraham. Maybe in your life also, you do not know how to cross the mountain. You do not know how to handle your problems. Don't lose courage. Hunger for Him. Your intimacy with your God will be the answer for all your problems. With the presence of God, Abraham crossed over the mountain. He is the same God yesterday, today and forever. When you let any situation enter into the presence of God, bring the word of God into your mind. He will take care of you. He will take care of you. Like Moses, are you frightened in life? Are you disturbed in life? Are you not able to face something? There are certain things. Not able to face certain people in life. Certain situations, you are trying to run away from it. Maybe certain habits you are not able to overcome. Invite the Lord into your life. Invite the Holy Spirit. He will take care of you. He will supply all that is needed for you. He helped Moses not only to come out of the fear of Pharaoh, but to stand before Pharaoh and bring the people out of the hand of Pharaoh. The same God, what are the things you are frightened? God will lift you. God will anoint you. The people who were trying to trouble you, they will be troubled. The people who want to eat you up, you will eat them up. The situation which you are frightened, the people who were trying to frighten you, they will be under your feet asking for your pardon, your guidance. Your God is a living God. Like Elijah, let the Paul prophets come. Magic come. You need not be afraid. The God who is in you is greater than any power in the world. And 
the same God of Elijah who fed him in the desert will feed you, will take care of you. He is our good shepherd. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Invite him and receive his blessings. Tu ye swami, tu charvaha, nigahe mujpe, teri sada. You are my good shepherd. I will not be afraid, Lord. Yes. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us, Lord, with your power. Lifting up our hands, worship the Lord. Oh God of Elijah, you are my God. Thank you, Lord. I will face any situation. I and my God together, we will face any situation. The same God who led Moses to stand before the same Pharaoh who about whom he was frightened. In your life, are you frightened of anything? Now God will supply His power, His wisdom to you. He will tell you how to face life. The people who troubled you will be under your feet. The same God of Elijah who challenged the prophets of Paul will help you to challenge all the situations that challenges you. All the people there are who are challenging you. God will supply His power, His presence. The same God of Elijah who fed in the desert will feed you. He will take care of you. He will not allow you to be tested beyond your strength. 